The words of apostle of the apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 12 and following says but if it is preached that Christ has been raised from the dead, how can some of you say that there's no resurrection of the dead? If there's no resurrection of the dead, not even Christ has been raised. If Christ has not been raised, our, pre our preaching is useless, and so is your faith. More than that, we are then found to be false witnesses about God, for we have testified about God that he raised Christ from the dead, but he did not raise him if in fact the dead are not raised. For if the dead are not raised, then Christ has not been raised either. They like that part. Let me read some more. <laughs> and if Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile, and you still are in your sins. Then those also who have fallen asleep in Christ are lost. For if only his life we, had, we have hope in Christ, we are to be pitied more than all men. But Christ has indeed been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through a man, the resurrection of the dead comes through a man. For as in Adam all die, so in Christ all will be made alive. But each in his own turn, Christ the first fruits, then when he comes, those who belong to him. Then the end will come when he hands over the kingdom to God the Father after he has destroyed all dominion, authority, and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to, to, to be destroyed is death. For he has put everything under his feet. Now, when it says that everything has been put under him, it is clear that this does not include God himself who put everything under Christ. When he has done this, then the Son himself will be made subject to him who put everything under him so that God may be all in all.